friends welcome you all to my channel innovative amazing science i hope and believe that you are doing great so am i today i'm going to share another fun experience of mine when i was in my grade 10 I was just reading one article, and in that article, it was about the trains. Specifically, it was written maglev train. So I was not knowing exactly what is this maglev train, or what is the mechanism of that. So after doing a research, I found out this is nothing, but it is the same principle as that of the bullet train. So I thought, let me just investigate more because I was very curious to know what is this mechanism and how the bullet trains run exactly. Is it uh, like running on the top of the tracks or is it away? So I started investigating, and through that article, I came to know there was a person, uh, a scientist, of course, in the year 1904, uh, he had invented these uh, trains. which works exactly on the principle of electromagnetic suspension i thought about the bullet trains which were above the track and which uses the same mechanism that is electromagnetic suspension so i thought okay let me try and do one experiment wherein uh, the bullet train so what we are talking about is basically working on the principle of magnets and we know that like charges repel and unlike charges attract so this bullet train specifically works on that principle so i thought let me make one project using the same principle of magnetism wherein i will show that my object is hanging because a project was given to us by the teacher so i thought let me do something unusual and out of the box so i have tried that and i would say i have succeeded so today i'm going to show you that object that is nothing else but a kite i have done it and i'm going to show you how my kite is flying without touching the magnet because it exhibits the property of magnetism the things required are this is thermocol you can take any waste thermocol which is lying at your house cello tape pair of scissors pencil thread this is board pin safety pin and this one is paper uh, you have to keep in mind that you have to take a very light paper light weight paper and of course this magnet oh super can you see lovely i know it's a little funny and we all would love to play but then uh, let me keep this aside for a moment and these are the three magnets so my first step would be i'll take this three magnets i'll just join this three magnets and i'm going to attach this magnet at the back of this pencil for which i require cello tape I'll keep this three magnets at the back. I'll just fix it. The extra part I can just. cut it off and keep this aside so i have fixed the three magnets at the back of this pencil then what i'm going to do is i'll take this thread <coughs> i'll insert this thread to the hole of the safety pin and then i'll tie a knot a 
so I'll just keep this aside I've already tied the knot then I'm going to take cello tape I'll take this piece of cello tape and take this paper and stick it here. Then I'll take my safety pin and stick on the top of the cello tape. Now I'm going to close the flap of this paper. I'll keep this aside. So if you observe this paper, now uh, this paper looks like a kite. So my kite is ready. So what I have to do is, I'll take this pencil along with this magnets attached. Then I'll take this uh, thermocol stand. I'll fix my pencil to it. Okay, I have already fixed. So let me just test because magnets is attached here. So is it going to attract? Yes, can you see? The magnet is attracting the safety pen. That means I'm almost done. So my next step would be I'm going to adjust my thread. We already saw that the magnet and the uh, safety pin is attracted towards the magnet. So let me just fix this thread to this part of the thermocol. I'm going to take this board pin and I'm going to wind my thread at the back of this. Here I go. I'll just do it like this. Then I'm going to just fix it here. So that my thread is adjusted. Okay, so I'm done with this. Now you can see my thread is here and I've already fixed it. So now I'm going to just pull this thread slowly because I don't have to worry because my thread is already attached here to the board pin. So slowly I just pull my thread. Here I go. Okay. Let's see what is happening. Oh wow! Super! Can you see? Can you just observe my kite? Carefully just try to observe it. It is away from the magnet. Still it is flying. So now I'm going to adjust my thread accordingly so that it keeps on flying for a more period of time. So I have just adjusted my thread already and now you can see my kite is flying. So you would must you must be thinking is it like flying or is it like uh, there is gap or not. I'll just show you. Let me take a paper for that matter. This is a paper. I'll just try to take my paper slowly till the down. Can you see? I am taking my paper to the down and down and down. Still observe my kite. Still it is hanging. Okay? I have just put a barrier. I mean barrier is nothing but a paper. Can you see? Slowly, slowly I am going down. I have already touched the thermocol. And still my kite is flying. So this is going to fly for a long time. Okay, so I just remove this paper slowly and here I go. Yes, I'm almost done. Okay. So I already showed you 
that there was no way or no connection between the kite neither the magnets it's away from the magnet and my kite is still flying so now i will show you a closer view just again i'll just put this paper you can see here i go i'm out again i'll just try to put it inside and in between the safety pin and the magnets you can see the barrier is paper again i'm out so i think i'm done and still my kite is flying and it is going to fly for a longer period of time you can just keep this and let the kite fly i just enjoyed and the last time i'm going to do this again i'm having so much fun i'll just insert this okay here i go again see observe carefully you observe there's a difference okay i have not done any sort of magic neither i have stuck anything it's just away from the magnets but still it's flying if you enjoyed the experiment do like it and do not forget to press the bell icon which is right there on your screen and if you want to share your experience with me and everyone do write it in the comment section or you can just mail me so that i can share your experience through an experiment till then take care bye bye